Foolishly, I signed up for my first CrossFit competition. Hey, it's Dan. So yes, I signed up for my first CrossFit competition uh, two years into my CrossFit journey. I turned 52 next month, and at the end of next month uh, is the competition and uh, it's for European Championships, which sounds really cool and really amazing, and I'm sure it is, uh, but don't let that sounding really cool, like, make you think that it's big, something bigger than it is. I'm in the novice section, <laughs> uh, which basically means that I can do all the basic stuff, uh, not, you know, anything fancy, uh, <laughs> and the weights I can do as well. I just wanted to go in, get the experience, get the nerves out of the way, obviously, because that, obviously the nerves, when you do anything first, is challenging, and then you're in a competition, so that's challenging, and then if you're gonna mess something up, what a better way of messing something up than doing it in front of, I don't know, a couple of thousand people. So if you're gonna mess it up, then you might as well mess it up properly. I've got my mate Dave, he's gonna come down as well, so show some support. It's in Sheffield at the end of July. Uh, but obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about it, and, um, I need to up the training. And also, there's, a, there's another issue. The other issue is that uh, I'm here for two weeks, and then in two weeks' time, we go to the USA, and we're there for two weeks, and then after that, I've got two weeks back here, and then it's the competition. And so, the complication then is that for out the next six weeks, for two of them, I'm not here, um, and it's right slap bang in the middle, and it's gonna cause some issues with training. Now, I am gonna try, and get some training sessions uh, booked in in the States. Uh, it is actually a bucket list um, um, thing of mine, is to go and do CrossFit in America. Not a competition, just a normal CrossFit session. So that's fine, that's doable. And um, not cheap though, good grief, for dropping sessions like $40. That's a lot of money. In England it's like 10 quid, $40 is what? 32 quid or so, something like that, depending on the change rates. So it's not cheap but I figured uh, I need to actually go in and, and get some practice in place uh, otherwise that's going to be even more challenging uh, than it's currently going to be. So uh, it should be quite interesting. Anyway we are at CrossFit here this morning in Spain and as you may be able to tell we did a really good workout there. Now I'm actually recording this on a Hover X1 a new drone which is supposed to follow you around. And it's not bad actually, uh, to say it's all kind of brand new and we're testing everything. Um, there is no cameraman here. It is literally a drone flying around and following me. And sometimes it's really good and sometimes it loses me. Sometimes it gets a little bit close like that. It's right in my face so I have to step away, tell it to come over. It doesn't listen to me, but it moved over. And here we go, back into the next set. And this next set is just 35 kilogram. Uh, what is that? It's a clean jerk. And uh, I think there's only six or eight of those. And then we go back to the um, rowing machine, uh, which I'll show you again because it's boring. Um, but this is me getting into shape, believe it or not. And honestly, if you've never done a 35 kilogram clean and jerk, it's not it's not the easiest. It's it's challenging. It's a lot of weight over a long period of time. Not too long, but long enough, you know. And then I wanted to test it on a rope climb to see if it would actually follow me up the rope. And it did, uh, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, I'm very pleased with myself there. And then we passed it over to my daughter, who's nine. I wanted to get her to test to see if she could make it work. And... Um, very impressed with it following her around, obviously. And then of course, what do all nine-year-old girls do when they get an automatic drone following them around? Uh, when testing it, they go and do a little dance uh, because that's just what they do. And then I went down to the basketball court just to test the drone uh, to see what that was like. That was really good as well. Obviously, it's not the same as having a photographer there because with a, uh, a videographer, I should say, they're going to follow you around, going to get the shots that you want. Uh, but for a drone, just to follow you around, I mean, that's pretty cool. I know you don't get to see the shot going in. Uh, and 
and things like that. But I mean, that's just such a cool toy um, to be able to use, and we're going to use that a lot more in a lot more of our videos. So if you liked that, then please remember to subscribe.